we put out a, a, a call to tested uh, to tested members mm -hmm. uh, for questions. Uh, Vicky Bly wants to know about what your first thoughts were, besides work, uh, when you hit orbit, Vicky Bly. Vicky Bly, thank you very much for that for that question. So the question uh, was when when I first when you first hit orbit. When I first hit, so uh, so when I first hit orbit, and uh, you know there's a lot of violence, particularly with the shuttle. There's a lot of shaking because we had solid rockets, which were like giant sticks of dynamite. And, and they, they ran rough, right? So you got a lot of shaking going on. You pull a bunch of G's getting you, out of the G's got, it. Once those things go away after two and a half minutes, and you're just on the, on the main engines, the liquid fueled engines, the three mains, and uh, for another six, six minutes. And uh, then the G forces start to build up. They, they build up throughout, yeah. but you get a max of three G's. So three G's feels like um, whatever your body weight is, multiply it by three. And that's what you're getting right in the chest because you're on your back. So I felt like there were three big dudes sitting there. <laughs> like I'm in a playground and I can't get up sort of thing. I'm like, come on, guys, get off. That's what it was like. You can't raise your arm? Can't, no, you're not going to do anything. And yeah. that's another thing. It's, that you're, it's hard to do stuff under that G-force. So you're kind of hoping nothing goes wrong. Right. <laughs> you, you don't have to hit a whole hard. bunch of buttons. We had these long, you, see, you probably could make one of those things. These, these devices we had that, to reach buttons and uh, really? switches and stuff. It had a thing for circuit breakers on it. was like, a, at the end effector was really cool. We should look into that. You I, build it's a, one it's of those. It's a perfect project. To yeah, make. it's like, so it is a circuit breaker puller uh, or you put it in, yeah. it was a switch, different switches, toggle switches, everything. Or you know just push push button and had all these had this really cool end effect that could extend could telescope so Dude. while you're in the G you could shut off that engine you know if you I needed to. I love that they've got a stick in there. The stick. It's just it's it like Jaeger called, with the X one. It was called the stick because <laughs> you, you're in the G you can't reach all. <laughs> try to get your arm up there it's not going to work. But those three Gs and they're for two and a half minutes the last two and a half minutes. Those guys are pulling Gs. So it, when when those Gs when when the engines cut. Yeah. It gets really peaceful, and it's kind of eerily quiet, and my, my arms just floated up like this naturally. You know, it just, it's, they stay down here because of gravity, yeah, yeah. and I had a pen on the end of a lanyard that's just kind of floated up like this. And then I remember seeing Tom Hanks do this in Apollo 13. I said, I want to do that someday. Before I was picked, <laughs> I took off my helmet like he did in a movie, and I let it go and just watched it float around. But my, what went through my mind to answer your question, Vicky, was, Am I still alive? Like, no kidding. I was like, am I, did it, and I was, you know, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> so that was my first thought. And then the next thing was to, knew what I knew what needed to do was to unstrap and we had work to do, but to get a look at the, at the earth, get a look at outside of wh where we were. And uh, we had launched, it was early morning in, uh, at the Kennedy Space Center, or right before dawn. By the time we got rid of the tank and I was able to take a look, we were over the Indian Ocean. And uh, it was just beautiful. To, that's what you want to do is you want to take your first look out the window and hopefully not throw up. I had like two emesis bags. Oh, yeah. You, have you made a couple of those NASA emesis bags? They're really good vomit bags. Yeah, Lined I, and you can stuff your face in oh, there. Really? You've got a shroud. <laughs> These are really good bags. Really you good like vomit bags. Like stick it bag. to your face. Yeah, like, yeah, because you, you want, you know, you, there was a shroud you put over your head. Oh, my God. So nothing, you could, you know, it's nothing would escape and you could, yeah, and you don't want to use it twice. You never want to go back into a vomit bag. You want to have at least two. When I was so, on the uh, trying to avoid trying to avoid throwing up and enjoying the view. Yeah. When I was on the uh, the my version of the vomit comet, I uh -huh. I, uh, I got done all the filming we had to do for the MythBusters episode. We were filming, and I did fine. I did not get nauseous, but the moment wow. I had time to myself, yeah. I immediately got sick. Uh, and so I pulled a bag out yeah. and I threw up into it, and yeah. then I looked down there and realized, oh. Nothing is keeping it in there. <laughs> Boop, and I closed it. <laughs> was it a Ziploc? It was. It was. A, it had a, a, a tape seal. Okay, right. And you then I something. handed it off, and I, yeah. I threw up twice more. And then did I was you medicate? That. I did. I was on a little bit of scopolamine. Okay. Did they didn't give you the scope decks though? No. I don't think, think so. Who, was this NASA that flew you? No, or no, no. This, this oh, was yeah, the uh, no. I didn't do one of those. It was the uh, the, the tourism one. They used to give us uh, NASA. They gave us. There was this. They called it scope deck. So it was scopolamine. Plus dexedrine or something oh, like that. Is that a little upper? bit of a speed? Yeah. yeah. So the idea there is that the scopolamine makes you a little sleepy. So they didn't want you sleeping on the job, but yeah. they didn't want you throwing up either. So they thought that that combination was a good idea. And, and I remember, like, the pill itself was, it was like a see-through capsule. Yeah. And you could see that it's been space, too. You'd see, like, the two of the things floating around. And there was, like, these two <laughs> things. That, so that's pretty good. So I, was, I flew on um, for, a, for a Lego uh, uh, in uh, uh, I don't know, it was a commercial, but it was like a video with Lego, yeah. making Legos in space. And uh, we did it in, it was in Europe. 
And so I, I got to get some of the scope deck. So I, now I go to a real doctor. Not that those guys weren't <laughs> the flight, but you know, a doctor is uh, you know, like a regular doctor yeah. in New York City. So Dr. Baskin is like, hey, I need some, I can't get me a scope deck. She goes, what the heck is that? And I said, this is what this is. Goes, that doesn't exist. That's some stuff they gave to you guys. I can't get that for you. So I go, what do I do? She says, well, you know, get it, like the scopolamine and drink a cup of coffee. Right. That was the solution there. So yeah, we had that stuff. You probably might've been better off with that. You're reminding me that when yeah. I flew in the U2 spy plane, the food that I chose to uh -huh. take with me Ooh. was caffeinated apple pie. <laughs> And again, what I'm the sure heck? for the same exact reason. <laughs> so you did you eat? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. How, can you tell me how long you were there, or is that classified? No, 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 that's not classified. All right. Uh, uh, no, I was up for about three hours. Okay. Yeah, not long. Uh, we did a tactical takeoff out of Beale Air Force Base. So we cool. stayed within the base confines to yeah. get up to altitude, right. which took a while. It's yeah. a slow yeah. a slow flight. And then landing was beautiful, because it lands on like a bicycle wheel. Wow. It lands, there is no landing gear. It lands on the bicycle wheel, rolls all the way to a stop, and then tips on one wing. Really? I'm not kidding, it's crazy. So, but they must deploy that thing somehow, right? It's not, uh, is it on there? I think they deploy the wheel, but it's literally just a little bit sticking out wow. of the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Ooh,